as you move about the dome today and as you listen to the talks, you're seeing firsthand how AI and blockchain and other advanced technologies are changing the world. And we believe as well that um, as we look at our world at EY, that these technologies will be so impactful. I want to talk about taxation. How many people here came today to connect taxation and technology? We got one. That's one more than I thought we would have. We think it is critically important, and uh, I want to talk about why we believe advanced technology is ripe to solve tax problems. These advanced technologies like AI and blockchain are changing industries and entire systems. There is no greater system, an older system in the world, than the system of taxation. Taxation has been around for thousands of years, dating back to the time of the Greeks and the Romans used taxes to raise vast sums of money to form armies and to fund a central government. Also using those funds to provide services to the citizens. They were vitally important. Taxes are the lifeblood of economies, so if you're here today representing a government, taxes are really important to you. If you're representing a private enterprise, well, taxes are critically important to private companies as well. Let me explain the why. Why are we talking about advanced technology and taxation today? Why do we think now is the right time? It's incredible how much of business processes are still manual. These are manual processes, tax included. We all spend an inordinate amount of money and labor hours actually performing those tasks and then rechecking and reviewing and checking them again. These technologies can really take a bite out of that. Another reason why is that there is a data proliferation. We've heard from so many speakers today that data is everywhere. It is so prolific. It is better organized. That organized data is the fuel for artificial intelligence systems that are really important to tax determinations. The last reason why is that we're engaged all around the world in tax reform. If you're here from the United States, you witness the most significant tax reform that we've seen since the 1986 Tax Act when Ronald Reagan was in office. Tax reform is happening all around the world. Despite efforts to simplify tax codes, they're not that simple. They're still really complicated. We need complex technologies to solve complex tax problems. We have two big ideas today why we think Two ideas why we think these advanced technologies are ripe to solve tax issues. One for private enterprise and another for uh, public, for governments. Let me start with private enterprise. Uh, from a private enterprise standpoint, much of what we do in tax is we predict. We predict tax outcomes. We also classify. So much of what we do in tax work is classification. We classify transactions and people and assets for tax purposes. Machine learning is so effective at doing that, frankly, better than we human tax professionals are. We also aggregate data and we verify transactions. And blockchain, as we've heard so much today, is terrific at verifying those transactions in a system that much better than what groups of humans can do. So what's our big idea? Our big idea for private enterprises is that we're moving to a time where we can have real-time tax determinations. Today, you need an army of tax professionals, people, in order to provide the tax effect of transactions and happenings that are at companies every day, every minute. Every minute in an organization, somebody's buying an asset, or they're hiring an employee, or they're selling goods, and each of those have tax implications and it's impossible to hire as many people and to effectively analyze tax issues with only relying upon human resources. You need technology to do that. These advanced technology tools allow us to do just that. Okay, what about for government? So if you're representing government today, I think these advanced technologies are also really important. Today, uh, many governments are engaged in automation and they're, they're doing things more effectively and more efficiently. That's exciting, but frankly, it's not, um, it's not really what gets us up in the morning. I think what's more important for government is that they can use AI and blockchain to reshape their tax policies, to have a better and a more fair and just incidence of taxation with technology enabled than they could without the enablement of technology. We think that's critically important. More specifically, I think in the next three to five years, we're gonna see major taxing platforms like VAT 
and withholding taxes that are administered on a blockchain and enabled by artificial intelligence. It just takes, it makes too much sense not to do that. And we're already seeing, and we're working at EY on solutions to put those structures in place. And I think that will be vitally important in the world and will have a much more fair taxing systems. One benefit too that we'll see is there's a massive problem in the world with tax fraud. Tax fraud is a $3 trillion a year problem across the globe. That's 5% of global GDP. It's a massive problem. We don't need tomorrow's technologies to solve tax fraud. Today's technologies and the algorithm today applied universally across nations can have massive implications and can take a big bite out of tax fraud. So that's our vision. Our vision at EY is one of a collective intelligence of machines and AI and blockchain enabling us as professionals to do what we do best. In order to do that, we know that we're going to need the cooperation of many organizations, taxpayers, businesses, individuals, um, and governments, and NGOs, and tax software companies, organizations like the OECD and the World Bank, all of us coming together and working toward that common cause. We realize that now is the time to apply these advanced technologies to tax issues. I also realize that tax may not be your foremost concern. Tax is on for everybody. I understand that. I just ask you to think about those two ideas from today. Thank you.